When I was 9, 10, 11, 12 years old, all I wanted to do was be a DJ on the radio. So this is a great gift to be able to do it every day. How do you bring all of yourself to all of that in these in these crazy times. I look at my role with all of those opportunities and those jobs and those shows as the one that connects people. Ryan, Ryan Seacrest, now a titan in the entertainment industry. His reach, undeniable. With his national radio show, On Air with Ryan Seacrest. Uh, Miley Cyrus joining us here at Children's Up hey, Down. We have K-pop sensation, global takeover group, BTS in the studio. Let's bring in Matthew McConaughey. Hello. Hosting American Idol. We have got an amazing show with Wall Tomorrow Music for you tonight. And Dick Clark's New Year's Rockin' Eve. This is the moment that is so magical every year. Just to name a few of the many places you might see or hear him. But it's radio where he got his start as a kid. I think about the American Top 40, I listened to Casey Kasem mowing lawns when I was a kid in Atlanta. As I um, made tapes and practiced, I thought, gosh, that'd be cool to count backwards one day from 40 to number one, coast to coast. Now he's got that golden voice introducing hits on the airwaves and turning his passion into purpose with his nonprofit, the Ryan Seacrest Foundation. Ryan and his sister Meredith gave me a tour around the newest Seacrest studio at Primary Children's Hospital in Salt Lake City, Utah. Welcome to the Seacrest studio, Will. All right. Please, the big reveal. Yes. Be my guest. Oh, thank All you. Right. What a good host. <laughs> wow. This is it. This is our 14th studio. And who's teaching them how to do things like this? My yeah. sister teaches them everything. Yeah. Everything. Yeah. It's all me, no. Um, we, have a studio, we have studio managers that run the studio. So they are helping the kids learn how to use the buttons, get on air, create shows. So this is supposed to be that safe space for them. The Ryan Seacrest Foundation is a family affair. We talked about it together after um, a visit I had over a decade ago at one of the hospitals. It gives us a chance to do something that's great and also see each other and keep our family uh, close as well. Mm -hmm. um, and I think it's probably you know, the most joy all of us have ever had. And I think if you're going to work with your sibling, it's this is the way to work together. You know, it's difficult to work with. Yes. Right. I don't know yes. what you've heard. I can, I can handle this. This is the 14th state-of-the-art broadcast studio the foundation has opened in children's hospitals around the country. We never thought we'd build 14. I mean, that kind of happened where it, it snowballed. When starting in Atlanta, and then we got connected to build in Philadelphia, and then it just went from there. When you see children at any of the Seacrest studios, they're going through a hard time, right? You feel the weight of what's happening. You look over and you see it on a, a mom or dad's face when they're, you know, start getting emotional talking about it. When they're going through something tough with their kids and you just wanna, you wanna focus on helping them forget about it for a second. Why is this making you as emotional as it is? Just, we've gotten to know families. Um, we got to know the kids. I had a, a, a kid say to me, I'm very excited, it's gonna be a great Christmas. I got approved to get new lungs. And you know, it's stories like that that really tap into your emotion. Patients like Payson Inkley finding refuge in the studio. It was just awesome how much support and connection that I got from this and it's just been like a great opportunity. They really made it um, feel like a great place to be. Hello, this is Payson from Seacrest Studios. I just want to make your day better. Look out, Will. Here he comes. Just one of the many patients who will benefit from the addition to the hospital. Having a Seacrest Studio here gives us a lot of opportunities. It's an opportunity for kids to connect with each other. And this notion of connecting and connecting through broadcast inside the hospital uh, is an extraordinary gift to these kids so that they can participate and heal uh, and thrive. And even between philanthropic work and his many roles, Seacrest still somehow finding time for one more job as the new host of Wheel of Fortune. I'm so excited. Tell me everything, man. I, What's the I, deal? Mean, I, I grew up watching it. I'm such a fan. Pat Sajak is one of the greatest hosts in television. He is a legend. Vanna White is unbelievable. She is a national treasure. I'm so happy she's going to be there with me. That game is beloved. That show, that franchise is part of people's lives. A lot of the jobs that you currently have, you've been past the torch to be sort of the keeper of these American institutions. Does that feel like 
an honor, like pressure, both, something else? It's incredible honor, and it is pressure too, because uh, you know the institution or the people are places or people I've looked up to and watched and admired. But I have made some sort of a career, I think, out of stepping into places that have existed and trying to carry them into the next generation and next chapter. It's fun work and it's lighthearted, but I do take that responsibility seriously. Do you ever take a second to realize how far you've come? I never had it, so every day I feel like I have to make it again. I feel like I have to prove a little bit every single time. I feel like I have to earn the, the audience, I have to earn that connection with people. And I want to prove that I deserve to be in these roles. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.